What is going on guys, Miles here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be doing the first ever episode of the Guns of Black Ops 3, and today we're going to be going over the Kuda, which is one of my favourite guns in the game, I think it's absolutely beast, and I'm going to be talking about it in this video, showing you guys the stats of it and my recommendations for it, so as you can see in the background, I'm using it on Stronghold, and it's absolutely awesome, uh, let me know what gun you want to see me use next uh, in the Guns of Black Ops 3, and I'll sort of like go over it in detail, so starting off with the Kuda, it's a level 1 unlock, which is one of the best things about it um, it's a great weapon first SMG you unlock and you don't need to like use a prestige token on it if you really like it and it's one of my f uh, most used weapons in Black Ops 3 it was the first gun that I got gold in this game and I absolutely love it I have like a couple thousand kills of it it's absolutely beast uh, one of the reasons I'd like it a lot is because of the like really low recoil it has it's probably got one of the least recoil guns uh, in Black Ops 3 honestly I mean the Razorback doesn't recoil like at all but this thing has really low recoil which makes it great actually because you have the mobility of the SMG and it barely recoils so you can actually get kills from quite a long range fairly easily with this gun which is why I think it's an absolute beast um, as for starting ammunition it has sort of 30 bullets in the mag which is kind of standard but honestly maybe a little bit on the lower side for Black Ops 3 because you have the Weevil which has 50 bullets and then the VMP I believe which has 40. I'm not sure about the Pharaoh, I want to say 36 with the Pharaoh but I think the Pharaoh has more than the Cuda. So that is one of the downsides to it uh, but like I said it's got the really low recoil to make up for it but one of the and more downsides to this weapon is that its rate of fire is actually quite low uh, compared to the other SMGs in Black Ops 3. I believe it has the second lowest rate of fire uh, joint with the Weevil and the gun which has lower rate of fire is the Razorback. It has 720 rounds per minute which for reference like the Razorback is a little bit lower at like 600 and the VMP is at like 900 and I'll go over those in more detail but like with the recoil on the Cuda the great thing about it is it's like vertical recoil so it's really easy to control uh, unlike other guns such as the Cuda I found it has like horizontal recoil which can be like really annoying if it's inconsistent recoil uh, so that's another great thing about the Cuda I find it works great longer range as for attachments I would probably not recommend extended mags like I said earlier uh, it's got quite a low rate of fire so you don't need to worry about running out of ammo uh, grip is possible it would be slightly useful I guess if you want really long range kills like assault rifle distance kills then maybe a grip will be necessary but honestly, maybe not. I'd definitely get a stock because like strafing side to side in this game is so useful when like killing enemies. Um, as for a sight, I would honestly recommend just using the iron sight. As you've seen in the gameplay, if you haven't actually used it, which you probably have by now, uh, you can see the iron sight of the Cuda in this gameplay, and it looks fine in my opinion. It's not super obstructive like some of the other guns, like the M8 or something. Uh, but if you're looking for a sight, I would recommend the Elo sight as it's really like not obstructive and if you haven't unlocked it because that's quite a late unlock I'd recommend the red dot site wouldn't recommend any of like the recon sites or anything like that because that would be kind of like obstructive but uh, another attachment I would recommend is the long barrel for sure because like I said this gun has a really low rate of fire and the long barrel will probably save you a bullet or two when getting kills at long distances and because the Cuda has a low rate of fire that's definitely worth getting if you were using something like the Vespa maybe saving one bullet wouldn't actually be as useful because it has a massive rate of fire but because the Cuda has a low rate of fire long barrel is definitely recommended in my opinion and for a third attachment I usually rock three attachments on my weapons and then so I can have some points for perks I'd recommend the rapid fire if you haven't used the grip because rapid fire on like I said the Cuda has a really low rate of fire and that rapid fire will be useful for speeding up that kill time but it'll come at the cost of having higher recoil and it'll be more difficult to control. So that is my analysis of the CUDA. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know what gun you want me to review next. I'll go through like any of the SMGs, the assault rifles, maybe even shotgun snipers and LMGs. So yeah, let me know what gun you want to see down in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe for more Black Ops 3 videos and I'll see you guys in another video.